In this video, I'm going to do three questions from the chapter polynomials, including an MCQ. So let's uh, begin with the first one. In the first question, he says if alpha, B, sorry, A and B are the zeros of this polynomial and the polynomial is this, then find the polynomial whose zeros are this. Now let's see uh, what normally a student approaches this question as. They try finding the zeros of this polynomial, that is A and B. But you should see that this cannot be factorized into rational factors to obtain the zeros. And that's the reason we should not obtain, like I tell you, that 2 into 4 is 7, is 14. And when you try splitting them in the factors of 2 into 7, you end up doing wrong because you take the factor as minus 2x plus minus 7x plus 2x plus 7 which when you take common as x, you get 2x minus 7. And when you take x com 1 as common, you get 2x plus 7. So you see they are not, okay, this, it cannot be factorized in this way. So instead of factorizing, what we are going to do here is to first obtain the sum and the product. Well, sum of the zeros are what? Minus b over a. So it's going to be minus of minus 5, that is 5 over 2. And same is some product of the zeros, which is a and b here will be c by a that is 7 by 2. Now, once we have obtained this, the next thing we are going to do is to write down the standard formula for obtaining the zeros of equation of a polynomial. It is k times x square minus sum of the zeros into x plus product of the zeros. Now, what you can see here that the sum and the product, we are going to obtain the sum and the product and as you know, the polynomial that we have to frame has these as the sum and the product. So if I obtain the sum, that is S, which is sum of these, that is 2A plus 3B and 3A plus 2B, right? This plus this. So this is what? 2A plus 3A is how much? 5A. And this is 3B plus 2B is what? 5B. Now check if I take 5 common from here, I get a plus b. So I can say sum of the zeros is 5 times a plus b. Well, a plus b is 5 over 2. So from substitution, I get sum as 5 into 5, that is 25 over 2. So I got the sum of the zeros here, that is s here. The next thing that we need to do is to get the product of the zeros. Now to get the product of the zero, say P here, the P is what? The product of these two, that is 2A plus 3B multiplied by the other zero, which is 3A plus 2B. Now if I do the multiplication, 2A multiplied by 3A is what? 6A square. And 2B multiplied by 3B is what? 6B square. Then 2A multiplied by 3, uh, sorry, 2a multiplied by 2b is what? 4ab and this multiplied by this which is 9ab, 9 times ab. So what you can figure out here that uh, this is 6 times a square, right? And this is 6 times b square and this is what? This is uh, 13 times ab. Now, you can see that we can we need, we have the value of a plus b so we should try obtaining a plus b so what i'm doing here exactly you can find out that if i write this as 12 times ab and then 1 times ab so what actually i did i wrote this 13 times 3ab as 12 times plus 1 times and this I did so as to take 6 common from here to frame a plus b whole square. Now you can see this is a square. Well, this was b. I wrote a by mistake. This was b. So this is 6 on taking common will give you how much till here, right? This is 2ab and plus ab. So what I did, I took 6 common from here right from here now check the purpose of six, taking six common as you can now figure out that this becomes a plus b whole square 
and as we already know the value of a plus b okay right plus a b and how much is a b a b is 7 over 2 now we will continue to solve it by replacing a plus b so it's going to be 5 is sorry b is equal to 6 times a plus b and a plus b is 5 over 2 but then we have to get it square so square of this is what 25 over 4 plus 7 over 2 now next thing is to take lcm and solve it i can reduce it a bit i can see this is divisible by 2 1 times 2 3 times so 7 into 25 3 into 25 is what 75 right this is how much 75 by 2 plus 7 by 2 so we'll add 75 with 7 right this is easy to understand uh, we, we are just taking lcm so 75 plus 7 should give you 82 and then 82 by 2 is what 41 so we got the product as 41 now check here in the next step we are going simply to replace the value of p and s in this so this is say k here x square minus sum and what is sum it is 25 over 2 so it comes out to be 25x over 2 plus the product of the zeros which is 41 so we can do one more step of simplification where we can take lcm and and lcm comes out to be 2 so it's 2x square minus 25x plus 82 that divided by 2 so you may remove this and whatever is left so this is 2x square minus 25x right 2x square minus 25x plus 82 is the polynomial whose zeros are these